Hello, my name is Todd Durkin and welcome back to The Edge, part three, recovery. In the sports performance world, there are two paradigms that exist when it comes to maximizing performance. Number one, you gotta be pain free to play and compete and to work out and train at the level that you want to. And second, you gotta perform. That's the name of the game, results. Which do you need more of? Do you need more training? If so, it's time to pick it up and get after it. See part one of my Ed series for all my training tips. Or do you need more recovery? Believe it or not, many of the people I work with need to emphasize more recovery in their overall training program. Let's discuss recovery and I'll give you some of my top recovery rules. Here is my philosophy for recovery when it comes to creating optimal performance and results. Number one, you gotta cycle your workouts. You can't always go hard. You must split your routines so you aren't always training body parts on consecutive days. Number two, you should have two active recovery days per week. This could be a walk, yoga, stretching, meditation. Do what you need to do to recover. Number three, I highly recommend taking at least one day completely off per week. Four, I'm a huge advocate of foam rolling for five minutes before working out as it will help lengthen fascia and soften hardened tissue. It will help you feel better. Number five, before going to bed, stretch for 10 minutes to increase flexibility and mobility. This includes moves like the downward facing dog, up dog, pigeon pose, frog pose, and savasana. Number six, get in breath work and meditation. Three minutes in the morning and three minutes at night minimum. We breathe 18 to 22,000 times a day. Be aware of your breath. It will help you recover. Seven, soft tissue work is a must. Receive massage or body work ideally at least one time per month. Do it more frequently if you can. Number eight, a few other recovery hacks include infrared saunas, cryotherapy tanks, hyperbaric chambers, Normatec boots, and massage tools like the Theragun. Number nine, sleep is crucial. Here's a few important tips on sleep. Get rid of all electromagnetic devices one hour before bed. Get blackout curtains. Find the right room temperature for you. I personally like 68 degrees. Read inspirational material before going to bed as it will relax your mind. And write in a gratitude journal for a few minutes as it will ease your mind and will put your focus on what you do have, not what you don't. Lastly, let's talk nutrition and supplementation. First, see my Edge video number two on nutrition powered by Carnison, which covers all details on solid nutrition and pre and post workout tips. Other popular supplements for recovery include glutamine, amino acids, fish oils, vitamin C, D, and B complex, zinc, magnesium, creatine, and taurine. People always ask me if they should take beta alanine on non-workout days. The answer is yes. You can take between 3.2 to 6.4 grams of carnison on non-training days to maximize your results. Remember, carnison beta alanine can help expedite recovery and one can work up to taking 6.4 grams per day to amplify muscle performance and recovery. Training is king, nutrition is queen, and recovery rules the court. You gotta work your tail off, but you must recover even harder. I hope this Ed series on training, nutrition, and recovery helps you. It's been an honor serving you. Remember, train hard, eat right, and live inspired. It's been a pleasure serving you in this three-part video series on creating your edge. And huge kudos to Carnison for giving me the opportunity to share with you what I have practiced, preached, and endorsed for many years. I know you work hard for your results. Carnison certainly helps supplement your training, nutrition, and recovery by helping you derive even better results. If you would like more information, check out choose.carnison.com. It's there you can get even more great information. And don't forget, hit me up on Instagram, at Todd Durkin, with any of your questions. Until next time, train hard, eat right, and live inspired.